Hello, dear friends. You're welcome to the Resurrection Eve. It is the Holy Saturday, the day between the crucifixion and the resurrection. And if you're like me, if many, many years ago as a young believer, the question would always be, what happened on Saturday? And that is what we're going to be here to celebrate, talk about, and just rejoice in the great work of God, in the wisdom of God, in the power of God, and His glory is being manifest in our lives every day. Uh, let us pray together and as we, as we get the service going on. Uh, Father, we just thank you for this time of the Daily Victory broadcast. I thank you for my friends who are watching on the other side of the screen right now. I bless your name, O oh God, Father, because you're the one who gives revelation knowledge. We thank you, God, Father, for your shifting us from where we are to where we ought to be. We thank you for we go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Bless all of the viewers. Bless all of the lovers of Jesus Christ on the other side of the screen. Bless everyone watching right now in Jesus' name. Amen. You're very much welcome to the Daily Victory Broadcast. My name is Pastor Freke Umo. I am the worship pastor here at, at, at Victory Christian Fellowship in Newcastle, Delaware. Many thanks to Dr. Gary Wetson, our founding pastor, for this great opportunity for me to share with you. It is Holy Saturday, the day between Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. We said yesterday that the good in Good Friday is that Jesus Christ died for you and for me. And we cannot wait for the celebration that happened on the day when Jesus rose up from the dead. The Bible tells us that he came out of the grave. And then the Bible tells us how how it was on that day that the that that Mary and and Mary and her friends went to the grave of Jesus Christ and they went there to do what they usually would do uh, but the bible tells us that there were angels there and they could not find the body of Jesus Christ and the angels there said to them why seek ye the living among the dead and that's a powerful scripture on its own but today the question is what happened on that Holy Saturday. Well, the Holy Saturday is a day of celebration because when we cast our minds back and then we look at scripture, we see the beauty of what God has done. We shared yesterday from uh, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 18, where the Bible tells us that had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the Son of glory, the Lord of glory, because the death of Jesus Christ w began a, a spiritual chain reaction that, cre that led to the salvation of the entire, of, of everything that God has created on the earth. We thank God for the salvation of Jesus Christ, for saving us from our sins, for saving us from our past. It is because of the sacrifice of Jesus. That is why we are where we are today. Uh, let us look at the word of God real quick. As we look at the word of God, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter, uh, let's look at 1 Peter. Uh, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter uh, chapter 3, 1 Peter chapter 3, Verse 18, First Peter chapter 3, verse 18 says, For Christ had, for Christ also had once suffered for sins, that the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Jesus Christ was put to death. So it is important that we understand that Jesus Christ actually died. That Saturday was the day of death in the flesh. That his body was, there was a complete disconnection between his flesh and his soul and spirit. And he went to the place where all dead men go. Jesus Christ went to the place where the, the Jesus Christ went to the place where all dead men go. But when he went there, he did not just go there to suffer what every other person suffered. Because the Bible tells us that he went there. And in, in the Bible tells us in Colossians chapter 2. Hallelujah. I'm excited as I read this. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15 tells us very clearly. It says, And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. That's that was the assignment of Jesus as he went to the place where all dead men go. He, the Bible says he blotted out the handwriting of the ordinances that was that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he took out of the way, nailing it to the cross. That's everything that was ever written against you, every law, everything in life. 
that was put against your life, whatever record that was ever written against you. Jesus Christ went the way of all men to the place where all dead people go in order to redeem us from the death that we are supposed to suffer. Isn't that something to be excited about? I'm excited knowing fully well that the Bible tells us that he spoiled principalities and powers. He made a mess of death. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans, death, where is your sting? Death lost its sting when it came to Jesus Christ. When it came to the Lord of glory, death lost its power. The power that death had over us is what Jesus conquered when he went the way of all dead men. He went there, not as a captive, but as a captain of our salvation. Jesus Christ went into death, not to succumb to death, but to take power from what death is. Do you know that death is a spirit? Death is not just a happening. Death is a spirit. Death is a personification of the ending of life. And the ending of life is not just a happening. It is caused by a spirit. It is caused by a force. The force of death has been conquered by the force of resurrection. There was so much life in Jesus that when he went to the place where all dead men go, he went there to take power from death and give us the power of life and resurrection. I just want you to just celebrate God right now, knowing fully well that between the death of Jesus, between Good Friday and Resurrection and Resurrection Sunday, between Good Friday and the day of his resurrection, Jesus Christ was Jesus Christ took the power that death had over your life. So just say with me right now, Father, I thank you for you have taken the power that death has over my life. Thank you, Jesus, for you have taken the power that death has over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Death has lost its sting. Death has lost its victory. The grave has lost its victory over my life because I am alive in Christ. I am alive in Christ. The Bible says we were crucified with Christ. Galatians 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Somebody, I trust that you're excited because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. The Bible tells us very clearly. I just want us to look very quickly at Ephesians. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9 says now that Jesus now that he ascended what is what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth that Jesus before he ascended up in heaven he descended to the lower parts of earth and when he descended down there he went to get the power from the enemy oh but my he made a mess of the enemy he broke the backbone of sin and shame and everything that held us bound in that place that was supposed to hell to hold all men captive. The sin and the shame and the death that had the power to hold men captive has been broken forever. So we are free. We are free. That is what this day, the Holy Saturday, is all about. And I just wanted to celebrate God for what he has done. And we also celebrate in anticipation, knowing fully well that Jesus Christ said also, Jesus that Jesus Christ told us also that he said, the body, he said, he said that um, the temple, he said, bring down this temple and in three days, I'm going to bring it back up again. That's what the Bible says in John chapter two from verse 19. He says, destroy this temple and in three days, I will build it back again. And I just want you to know that no matter the level of disrepair your life is, no matter what the enemy has done in your life, to bring destruction, to bring shame, to bring despair, to bring um, to bring shame into your life. I want you to know that it's only about time. The force of the power of resurrection is at work inside of you and you're coming back to life in the name of Jesus. Your home, your marriage is coming back to life. Your career, your ministry is coming back to life. And every part of your being is receiving the force of resurrection as a result of what Jesus Christ has done for you. Go ahead and celebrate God today. I celebrate God with you and I celebrate the great blessing that God has brought into your life in the name of Jesus. Get on the phone right now and let us talk. Let us talk about this day and what Jesus has done in your life. And the number to call is 302-561-6767. If you're in Canada, 
go ahead and call 709-500-6767. That's 709-500-6767. We want to thank and encourage everyone who has been supporting and giving towards the ministry. Um, the number to call is 302-324-324. 5400. Just text the word donate to that number and then you can make your donations to the ministry. Or you can just visit our website in www.victoryexperience.com. Now, tomorrow morning is Resurrection Sunday and it is going to be an amazing time in the presence of the Lord. We begin our service at 6 a.m. with a sunrise service. It's a special annual service we hold right here at the church just outside the building as the sun rises we're just there to worship god to reenact the time of the resurrection of jesus christ we're just going to be out there just by uh, outside the church celebrating the resurrection of jesus christ at 6 a.m it is a one hour service we want you to come with your friends it's going to be an amazing praise and worship time and then we're going to have uh, pastor jacqueline give the word of god it's going to be a blessing i can't wait to see you there as we worship god together and of course the big Resurrection Sunday celebration is at 10 a.m. It's going to be explosive. Come with your friends. Let everyone know we are celebrating our risen King Jesus Christ. Love you so much. And I trust that God has done an amazing thing in your life today. Love you and God bless you. Bye-bye.